I'm Josh. I'm from Kiss 92. It's a radio station in Singapore. Hey. All right. So first off, I want to thank you for the record. I I, I like the album. Hey. So we're gonna go through the album, all 14 songs, okay. and a question each. Okay. okay. Yeah. Number 14. Like number 14. This. Let's get it. Unsweet. This Woo. one for Jinju. What's the sweetest thing any or all of the boys have said to you? Oh, Cole just told me earlier that I take a long time because it's hard to be look so cool like this. Aww. Okay, number 13, pay my rent. This is for Jack. How do you spend that rock star money? Do you send some home? <laughs> yeah, boy. How many cars you got? Uh, cars paid for. <laughs> no, no car payment. That's good. Yeah, I use it on my rent. Number 12, <laughs> Zoom. This is for Cole. All right, so Jinju so graciously brought you to Korea. If you could take her anywhere, just Zoom her anywhere in the world right now, where would you show, what would you show her? I would, I would take her to, um, a room somewhere that had really thick doors so I couldn't hear her talk. <laughs> Just kidding. That's an inside joke. Um, you know what? Uh, I um, really, really love being in Japan um, for, uh, for the fashion and the culture. And I like being there with Jinju because um, she uh, goes on adventures with me and, and um, appreciates everything that I appreciate about uh, Japan. So I would take her there on a special brother, brother, sister, grandma date. We're on the way, maybe. 11, be mean. Okay, this is for Joe. Back to your childhood, what was your room like as a kid? In a room like? Yeah, what was your bedroom like? Uh, well, I had like a bunch of band posters on my wall, a Weezer poster and a um, picture of Jimi Hendrix. Tonic, right? Tonic as well. And um, I remember we had this like floppy, like door that would slide to go to the closet. Me and my brothers would always throw each other into it and we eventually broke it. Truthfully, this is for Jack. Tell me something true and something not true about yourself. I am an expert bird watcher. Yep. Also, I am a certified lifeguard. Can you guess which one is right? I think you're a bird watcher. I can see you, you look, you look you're right. from your eyes. You yeah. just can tell that you're sensitive and you just look at a bird. Oh. <laughs> no, for real? Yeah. I won't. Ha ha! Ha ha! It's a good okay. poker face. Number nine, naked. Okay, this is for everyone. Have you ever accidentally or intentionally seen each other naked? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Does anybody have their phone? Yeah, yeah we, we were, were naked, naked yesterday. yesterday. We went to a Korean spa. And you have to get naked to get and uh, new clothes for the spa, so. In a lot of countries um, that we go to, you actually have to be naked to even get in the club that you, we go to, so. <laughs> okay, number eight, almost. This is for Joe. If you had to choose between a Grammy, 10 million albums sold, or 10 million more fans, you gotta pick one. 10 million more fans. Million That's just more people at shows and more listeners. I like the idea of, of reaching out to more people with our music. Okay, number seven, good day. This is for Cole. When was the last time you paused and thought to yourself, damn, that was a good day? This morning. Yeah? Yeah, I opened my curtains and saw um, this beautiful city and the mountain and the water and the sun and, and um, for 30 minutes I thought about how special today is. Balloon, number six. This is for Jinju. Can you whistle? Yeah. Because I can't. No, that. Wait. You just... <laughs> I don't. Okay. Mm. That was beautiful. So gentle. You have the whistle of an angel. You can't whistle. Thank you. No, I can't. I've been trying. It's like. Shh. Shh. I'm more of like a. That's more like that. Yeah. I'm sure there's a YouTube tutorial somewhere. One time I was walking right. down the street, um, and I saw a cat. This was in Brooklyn, New York. And I saw a cat like way up in front of me. And I was like, oh, I want to do that thing where if you make a, a sound high pitched enough, mm. only the cat can hear you, but humans can't. So I was like, <laughs> and I looked beside me and there was some, some construction worker just looking at me like, you're such a loser. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Number five, toothbrush. This is for Jack. Okay. Do you use an electric toothbrush or a normal one? Do you floss? Just a normal one. And I don't fall as much as this would probably want me to. For updating the Wikipedia. Okay, number four. Yeah. Dr. Yu, this is for Joe. Okay. Mm. When you were a kid and your teacher asked you what you want to be when you grow up, Joe Jonas said. 
I wanted to be, uh, I wanted to work with animals. So like a vet, veterinarian. Cake by the Ocean, number three. This is for Cole, and I wrote this one just for you after breakfast. Okay. okay, if the world could come together as one to eat a cake and be happy, what flavor would the cake be? I think the most appropriate uh, answer is all the flavors of cake in one. Every slice because is different. it's equality. Good answer. Number mm. two, body moves. This is for Ginger. Mm -hmm. Who's the best dancer in the group? Um, everybody has a different kind of skill, but I'm going to have to say creative-wise, Cole. Yeah, it's definitely like a caged up tiger trying to get loose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Number one, the title track, DNCE. So when I first heard the album, because that paints a picture of what the band is like, it's self-titled, right? I felt like the album is just so effortlessly happy. Thank you. You know? So where does your joy, where does the DNCE joy, the happiness stem from, from each of you? I think it comes from many places, but we're doing what we love, and that's probably what it's number one and so what we're doing as our career and our, it's even weird to say it's a job you know it's 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 fun to just live this life and I think anyone that really does what they really want to do you just have the best time doing it and you wake up every day so happy that you get to live this life a uh, last question just for the next generation of musicians out there right now there are all these platforms Instagram YouTube making music so easy you know everyone knows a friend who's a producer because everything's digital now you know you can pick it up uh, would you still encourage people to to go into this field? Yeah. No, I mean, 10 years ago you kind of said the same thing, but maybe a little bit different, right? There's just a lot of artists, there's a lot of music out there. And you can't think of it as a competition. You just have to think of it as an opportunity to express yourself, show, show the world who you are. If it's five listeners or five million, it's, it's not, nothing's different. It's just you're able to express what's on your heart. Yeah. And I think... Um, everyone that um, I've ever met that really respect and believe in as an artist, it was never a choice. You know, they didn't sit down and with their brain say, should I go into this? Like, music was the only choice, you know? It, it, was, it was what they were born to do, so I think um, it isn't a decision if it's right. Hey everybody, what's up? It's us, DNCE, and you're hanging out with us and, of course, Singapore's KISS 92. Mm, mm, mm. 91, 92. Kiss 92.